Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 129. What I want to do today is look at a calculation or a, uh, a frequency distribution and a function that's out there that Excel lets you use and show you how it might be helpful. Let's assume I'm doing some kind of Six Sigma, some kind of quality improvement kind of project and I want to gather some data and what I'm looking at now is how many days does it take to collect 100% of the balance due on a claim. Do I collect some up front and get the balance from, you know, Medicare or from a commercial insurance or is there a secondary insurance or is there a primary or secondary and then I got to get something from the patient. How long does it take me to collect 100% of what I'm allowed to collect on a claim? So if you look, if I do end and down, I've got 2,000 samples and we'll go control home to go back to the top of how many days it took me on a given claim to collect 100%. So of those 2,000 samples. What I want to know is how many fell within 0 to 30 days, 30 to 60 days, 60 to 90 days. And I've kind of created some buckets. Let me show you how I calculated this frequency column right here using this frequency function. We'll create it down here and then I'll uh, show you how I did it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat. These are just numbers. See, I've just typed them in like this. So all I'm going to do is copy those down here and let's just paste them down there. And let me show you how I use the frequency function. If you look, um, let's look at this just for a minute before we do it. Notice these little, these brackets that are different around the outside of the formula there and there. What that tells you is we're playing with an array function, A-R-R-A-Y, an array function that uh, is special to, uh, it's a different kind of function. There's, there's some tricks to it. Let me show you how it works. But the, the function itself is not all that difficult. It says, all right, show me the frequency A3 to A2002 is the data that I want to see and what C3 to C10 is is my buckets. So I'm just going to change my buckets to C13 to C20 and show you how it works. To enter an array function what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the entire range where I want the function to go and I'm going to type equals frequency and Excel says hey, I've only got one function that starts with FRE. I know what you're after. And it wants the data array and then the bins array. Well I know the data array is from A to A2002. We can F4 those if we want. I don't know that we have to in this example, but we can lock that in so that when we move it down, we've got it. And then what we want to do is go from C3 to C20. That's where my buckets are. That's how I'm going to group the, the different uh, number of days that it took to collect. And then I'm going to do uh, right parenthesis. And now the, the game for doing an array form is to hold down Control shift and enter. And what Excel does when you do control shift and enter is it says alright I know that's an array function it's going to put these brackets in there automatically for me and then it's going to fill all these other uh, formulas for me and uh, sure enough I got the same values I did up above and then the other trick to using frequency is notice how I've got a 0 and a 210. I happen to know because I made up the data that none of the claims were collected in less than 0 days so that makes sense and none of them took more than 180 days. So what I've done is I've put uh, a bucket at the at the outer edges, if you will, at the top and the bottom of my range so that I make sure I've got everything. And at the end of the day, I can highlight these and see down at the bottom here, yeah, I have 2,000 of my uh, 2,000 claims in my frequency and I have 2,000 claims in my sample, so I know I got them all. But I put a zero at the top and a zero, or, and the 210 at the bottom with, when the frequency goes to zero, which tells me, okay, I've got all the pieces inside my range. And then you need to understand what does this 327 mean. Well it means that I found 327 claims that were between 0 and 30 days and 449 claims that were between 60 and 30 days and 494 that were between 90 and 60 days. And that's how to read it and to make life a lot easier what I did was I just did a little formula like this that calculates how it works. And if you look at my formula, all it's in fact I should be able to copy and paste it. Well I, I probably had to, let's see we're going to put zero days here, or let's just get rid of it and do that. How's that? What this formula does is say take C13, which is this. The ampersand sign just means add this text field, which is just my hyphen the, the, between the zero and the 30. I'm putting that hyphen in. Put a space and then put C14 in and put a space and days. And that's how I can copy this formula down. It's just taking zero hyphen 30 putting a day, 0 hyphen 30 hyphen 60 putting a days, and it goes down through here to make it really easy to calculate. Once I've got this, then I've got a pretty easy chart to just go through and chart this onto this chart. Frequency is a little bit tricky. This, I, 
And it's particular if you're not familiar with arrays, it may be worth, we're going to play with more arrays over the course of these Excel videos. But the idea is to show me in this range how often I saw um, this, these buckets from C13 to C20. Or up here, you'll notice I didn't even have to put, lock in the dollar signs down there to make it work with this because I did an array formula. The game is the array goes in all at once. Uh, one trick to arrays, one catch, if you will, if you try to delete this cell, you're going to get an error that says, hey, that's part of an array. You can't change it. If you want to change something, you've got to change the entire array. The pro is, if you get something that's not familiar with spreadsheets, they're going to have a tougher time deleting that cell. The con is, if you got something that's not familiar with spreadsheets, they're going to have a hard time modifying the cell to say, hey, what if I want 0 to 15 days or something like that? They may have a hard time modifying the array formula. But I wanted you to see it so you at least get an introduction to array formulas and what frequency will do. And then we're going to play a little bit with this chart in the next video. Hope that was helpful for you. If uh, I'll try to explain this a little better and give you a little more detail in the blog that goes along with this. You may ch check that as well for a little more information. Thanks for watching.